1913, we passed the 16th Amendment, so now we have a progressive income tax. Well, it's progressed all right, so we're all paying massive amounts That's of right. taxes. It isn't just one tax, it's multiple, multiple taxes. taxes. That's the mischief that happens when you give government too much money and because see, it's control over your life. labor. That's right. And, and what happens, too, is because of that, I don't know how to treat you until I know what group you're in. Oh, you're in that group? I've got to tax you at this rate. I tax other people different rates. And so I don't treat you in government the same anymore. I treat you differently based on what That's group you're in. That's such an important point. I'm so glad you talked about Because again, so much of what we have talked about is how God loves the individual. The individual. And he wants the individual to succeed. He wants the family to succeed. And when government stops looking at us as an individual mm -hmm. with a name, and now we become a number, in other words, we become part of a group association, then what's dangerous about that is if our group association isn't pleasing to the current That's government right. power, You're targeted. you get whacked. You get whacked. Or you get falsely elevated and you get a special benefit. And when the Supreme Court struck this down in 1895, at that time, Justice Stephen Field said, ah, no, no, this is bad. If we ever get progressive taxes, look what, and this is what he said. He said, if this tax, this progressive tax, extra tax on the rich, will be but the stepping stone to others. Oh, is oh, that man. true? Oh, is man. Is that true? He said, larger and more sweeping till our political contest will become a war of the poor against the rich, a war constantly growing in intensity and bitterness. Just look at any campaign commercial on TV. That's all you mm -hmm. see on these campaign commercials. And what is it doing? It's appealing to the lower interests of man, and it appeals to the American people to violate the Tenth Commandment. Yeah, don't be covet. That's, that's right. right. We are told don't covet. In other words, don't be jealous and don't want what your neighbor has. Your neighbor had to work for what he has. Yeah. And don't be jealous of your neighbor. Get out and work yourself. Instead, politicians say, oh, no, no, your neighbor is rich because he stole it from you. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah, that's not true. It's <laughs> a lie. And so does anyone benefit from that thinking? Absolutely not. The Bible is exactly right.